you're new to newborn photography, I know how overwhelming some of the terms can kind of be. I remember when I first started hear, hearing about butterfly lighting and looking for the butterfly shadow. For the longest time, I couldn't see it. I had no idea what people were talking about. In this video, I want to share with you a little behind the scenes and what to look for and how to find the butterfly shadow. If we haven't met, I'm Lisa from Milk and Honey Photography and the Milky Way, and I inspire, empower, and educate photographers just like you to create the business, art, and lives of their dreams. I love to focus on newborns, specifically newborn photography, and I'm going to share with you some of my tricks and tips to help you become the artist you've always wanted to be. So in this episode, we're going to be talking about the butterfly shadow, what to look for, and how to find it. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do because you don't want to miss a single trick, tip, or tutorial. Now what I would love for you to do is in the comments below, share with me a little bit of your struggle when it comes to looking for the butterfly or really when it comes to newborn photography. I would love to be able to answer any questions you might have as it pertains to newborn photography and helping you become the artist you've always wanted to be. So to get started, let's talk about the butterfly shadow. Now the butterfly shadow is actually a shadow that you can see. I remember for the longest time thinking, okay, what is everyone talking about? I don't see it at all. What I want to share with you is we're actually going to look at a few of my images and I'm actually going to identify to you what exactly the butterfly shadow is. It's that little shadow that is created underneath the nose and in this little divot here. It's from the nostrils and this divot and it looks actually like a butterfly. The way this, this is achieved is from proper lighting. Now this can be done with a studio light or it can be done with natural light. Now I'm going to show you with my trusty stand-in baby exactly what you're looking for. When we're lighting newborns, we always want to be lighting from the head down, which means we're lighting in this direction. I would always be having my light this way. When you know that you have your lighting correct, you're going to be seeing the butterfly that, be, that comes right here. And it's created because of the light hitting this way, creating the pockets of shadow underneath the nostrils in the divot here. It's the most beautiful light. By having your light in the correct position to have the butterfly light, it's going to give you the result that you want. I'm going to take you over to the bean bag and I'm actually going to show you exactly where I would have my light placed when it comes to natural light. Okay, so for this example, I want to use natural light. I want to show you where I've got my light placed. I've got my light really, really, really close to my bean bag, but I have it on an angle. So I don't have it so it's directly in front of my window. I have it on an angle back. It's more of like a 60 degree angle. And so what I'm looking for here is I'm looking for the divots underneath, sorry, the divot here and the pockets of shadow just underneath baby's nose right here. What it's gonna show me is I've got my lighting correctly because the way that it's being lit is the light is, is gliding down. So if you're finding that you're not seeing it, um, ch change where you have your beanbag position, where your light is. You could pull it further forward, and I know I'm really gonna get a deep butterfly now, or you push it further back. Um, you can just change your angle of where baby's face is towards the light as well. This is where I'm gonna get a really nice butterfly. But also remembering, if you've seen previous videos, making sure that where you're shooting from is where the actual butterfly is going to be. So where I'm going to be wanting to shoot from is right about here, and I'm going to take a shot and show you. So we're going to zoom in just a smidge here. Now actually, if you look, because this is out of focus, and typically what I look for when I'm looking for a shadow is I squint my eyes. That's like a little tip. But as you can see, out of focus, you can really see that butterfly shadow underneath this little one's nose. You can see the wings and you can see that little divot. Now I'm going to just bring it into focus for you, and this would be the shot. So there you have it. You see, it's not so hard to find that light. What I want for you is to go get a doll, go get your strobe light, or get your bean bag by a window, and just start practicing. Place that doll right there. It's going to be hard if you use like a teddy bear or stuff like that. But make sure you place that doll there and look for those little pockets of shadow underneath the nostrils and in the little divot between, between their nostrils and you'll be able to find that butterfly. Now if you haven't already, make sure you download our Studio Gear Shopping Guide. 
If you have ever been interested in studio lighting, especially studio lighting for newborns, well, we have the resource for you. Make sure you click on the link in the description below and you'll be able to download your shopping guide to get you started on your way. Now, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode. We're gonna check for recording. It's on, right?